Welcome to another Sunday live on YouTube and um, we're sending people over from Facebook over to YouTube just because it makes it a little bit easier for everybody to be on the same page, if you will, and to have the comments all in the same spot. So welcome, Simon. Simon Hogman is with me. Hello, Daryl. How are you doing? Good to I'm, see you as always. I'm incredible. I'm doing great. Thank you very much That's for asking. Good. That's uh, good. So We've got some really cool things we're going to talk about on today's show. Um, we're going to talk about, you know, mass page a lot of times is used in lead generation. And it's a lot of times used for small, um, you know, sites like with Magic Page where you got like a small area uh, and you're, you're dealing with, you know, 200, 300 pages, maybe a thousand pages, right? So what we're going to actually show you today is mass pages in the wild where we have found um, a couple of examples and there's many more out there, but a couple of examples where mass page is being used by larger companies uh, and ways that are a little bit more creative, a little bit outside the box and a little more advanced. Um, so we'll, we'll have a little discussion about that um, coming up here. And among other things, we have the domain giveaway. We'll also do the prizes.live giveaway. So if you have not registered at prizes.live, uh, please go ahead and do so. It's H, it's go.h. Oh, actually, no, it's actually prizes.live. Yeah. Prizes.live. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I just put it on the screen there, prizes.live. We'll go ahead and put it inside the comments. But uh, register now because you have about 45 minutes to do so. And then we'll take that list and we'll give away the prize today, which happens to be three stack codes for quick blog so just like we did last week everybody got one code this time you get three codes which means that this one person that wins it will be able to get more blogs that they can do and uh, we thank our good friend over at quick blog um duran uh for duran uh for that so um so absolutely excited about today's uh program duran duran george yeah yeah He's been very good to the show. He he uh, he left a trail of uh, prizes for us to give away, and he yeah, I'd like to do some more like that. That was a really good, um, really good interview to have him on here. So it was nice. Yeah. Now, Daryl, there's one uh, really important part of the show that you've actually deliberately not mentioned. It's one of the most popular parts of the, the show. The LTD. LTD of the week. <laughs> yes, I was getting there. Well, yeah, uh, okay. Lifetime deal, software deal of the week. Uh, we're uh, Simon and I, mostly Simon, because he does all the work around here. Let's just face it. Um, <laughs> finds a lifetime deal that you should probably take note of. Uh, we throw you a little affiliate link if you want to show us a little love. Of course, that is always appreciated on the program, but it's a lot of times just to show you something behind the curtain so that you can be aware of, you know, sort of a curated list of software deals that could be helpful for you and your business and to um, help you in marketing and help you with your business and all that kind of stuff. So um, welcome to Sunday Live. We, we talk about all kinds of things from SEO to mass page to lead generation to domains. We talk about domains here and lifetime deals. Those are pretty much our wheelhouse. Yeah. Those pretty are the much, things we talk about. It, yeah. So yeah, just do a bit of a shout out for a few people. So CX3P, good to see you. He's saying, let's, uh, let's do this. And, um, SMB Re Recovery Profit. Don, good to see you. Cheers and hello. So nice to have you guys with us. Thanks for joining the show. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, we got a full sh uh, show for you, so let's not waste any time. So uh, Simon has got his screen pretty much ready to go. And um, we're going to talk right now about the reason why, if you look at our backgrounds, we have the wilderness. And, you know, sometimes <laughs> when we're out there on Google, we'll happen to find a website that is using mass page techniques. Okay. Uh, to build out lots and lots of landing pages to bring in traffic, relevant traffic. And we're always like studying this kind of thing, uh, Simon and I, to try to find the very best opportunities to learn uh, from, from sites. And now Simon's going to show a site today uh, that blew my mind. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to his presentation and uh, I'll be jumping in here and there uh, to, to uh, <clears throat> augment it as well. So Simon, if you want to take it away. Yeah, can you see my slides okay? Yes, I do. 
Yeah, I've got these these targets. Yeah, so if you, as always, if you can come in, if people have any questions as we go through, that always helps me rather than me just doing 10, 10 slides. So we try and make it interactive. So this is all about what what happens if you see a mass page site in the wild. So I've got this sort of uh, target thing here and uh, looking at onto there, that's a bit of a, a theme. So, you know, I'm involved in mass page building. Daryl, as a lot of people watch the show are. And obviously, we have our own projects, uh, but occasionally, uh, if we're researching a niche, you know, we'll, we'll find somebody else's project. And I always make a note of them. I've got a very long list of uh, mass page sites from different platforms, different niches, and you know, I want to learn from them. I want to sort of look at them and find out well, is what's working about that? What do I like about it? What I don't like about it? And obviously, you know, we're always looking for that magic uh, magic formula. So, you know, what what I suggest is if you see something in the wild that you like and you find, I wouldn't. I, I'm not saying shoot it or <laughs> I'm not uh, suggesting any <laughs> violence or anything else. It's a completely non-violent show. Um, what I'm actually saying is um, call in the the engineers. And what I mean by that is is to reverse engineer these successful mass page sites and, and get an understanding of what's working and what's not. So I've got one that I think is pretty interesting. Uh, I shared it with Daryl. We've we spent a bit of time looking at and, and, and analyzing it. And I want to share that with you and, and I guess share how I would approach it, reverse engineer of this site. So uh, we reverse it, engineer it very much in the same way we might order any particular site. So, you know, what's the traffic volume look like? What's the value of that traffic? What, what's the number of keywords being ranked? What's the age of the domain, the age of the content? Obviously, how was it made? So how big is the site? Uh, what's its linking uh, structure look like? What's the platform is it built on? Is it built on Magic Page or Mentorprise? Is it a static site? How is it built? Uh, what's the on-page look like? And, and then obviously, what is the backlink profile? It's very similar to how you might look at any particular site. But obviously, what we want to do is, is work out what's what's working from a mass page point of view. Now, the site I'm going to talk to, maybe some of you uh, know this site, maybe you don't. It's called jrop.com. I just uh, stumbled across it and then realized it was uh, actually a very, very big site indeed. So uh, it's a lead generation site. Um, it's it's effectively in the kind of uh, roadside assistance genre uh, niche. Um, it majors on towing, as uh, and it ranks extremely high on these high volume towing keywords um, across the states. Um, there's, uh, we'll see in a second, we'll go into some of the stats, but you know, a lot of pages indexed, $300,000 a month of traffic value, tens of thousands of keywords. It's only 18 months old in terms of the work that's been on, on this site, but it's actually quite an old domain in its own right. It's got hundreds of thousands of backlinks, but interestingly, only a small number of referring domains. Its DA is uh, 27, which is not, not massive for a site like this. So we're going to have a little bit of a look at JROP and look at some stats. Um, so before I go into that, Daryl, any any questions or any any thoughts? We just sort of head on into. Well, this, I'll yeah. be curious. Yeah, I mean, mm. this is um, you know, not an aberration, but it is a very interesting case study because the eighteen month uh, uh, time frame is really really cool. I mean, this is mm. a four letter domain, and uh, you know, I have we'll we'll take a look at what the value is of a four letter domain, just you know, just <clears> in general. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm really curious about this because the, you know, if you were an SEO company, you would use this website, if this was your website, mm -hmm. as a real cornerstone of what could be done in 18 months. Because uh, 300,000 yeah. uh, K in organic traffic, organic um, traffic yeah. is amazing. wonderful in that short of mm -hmm. period of time. So it's a great case study you found. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, let's let's take cool. A look. So let's let's dig into some of the data. So I use various different tools. One of the tools I use the most is SE Ranking. Uh, some of you might uh, have that. So there's obviously uh, other other tools are available, uh, but this is the, the the graph here. So if I just um, just get this out of the way, just show that. So you can see this. So this is what I mean by this 18, 18 months. So that the site has existed before. There's a little bit of um, organic keywords uh, there, a, a traffic rather, and then it's grown up. And then you have this sort of in the last four or five months, a massive increase. Now, there obviously is a bit of volatility here, and that's because they have some very, very high keywords. So they'll be ranking on like towing New York and things like that. And there's a small number of pages that are ranking number one and driving very high traffic value indeed. So if you do have SE ranking or whatever tool, you can look into some of the backgrounds here. Um, some other uh, stats are interesting. So this is this is them seeing you know 129,000 estimated organic traffic a month. Obviously, this, this is an estimate. I don't, I'm not in the Google Analytics, but this is kind of order of magnitude. Um, keywords. 35,000 is what SE ranking reckons, and then traffic cost. This is 249,000 pounds gb pounds but obviously that's well over three hundred thousand uh, dollars so pretty interesting when we look at the the backlinks uh, here so 
we see that they, they in quote, you know, only have a couple of hundred referring domains. Now, Daryl and I looked at Ahrefs, I think it was, and they suggested they might have four or five hundred. So, but the, the point is there's not actually that many for a site of this uh, size delivering this kind of traffic value. But they do have a you know hundreds of thousands of backlinks um which uh, uh, is something they're actually using to send to individual pages uh, across the site as well so obviously uh, that kind of strategy helps with indexing because you you're getting backlinks to the the inner pages not just the home page we'll have a look at that in a bit of a second um so uh yeah, so here's the backlink profile, just shows their kind of growth over the time. Nothing dramatic. They clearly have had a, a backlink building uh, plan. They've got some EDU backlinks. They've got some Gov backlinks. But these actually tend to be uh, ones where they've gone in and offered like a discount. So public sector workers get a get a discount, and they've, they've managed to get onto some EDU and Gov sites doing that. So it's, it's you know, kind of gray hat, black hat kind of um, uh, link building stuff. Um, but, you know, they've not had to build so many although the number of links is high the actual number of sites they're on is is actually fairly low so that's pretty interesting to see that that growth um so it's professional backlink building but it's not um it's not insane volumes okay so let's have a look at a look at the uh, the site i'm going to jump out of this hopefully this will work without it going wrong hold on there we go can you still see that guys yeah yep still see yeah. it Sure. So that's loading up on my slow internet connection. And it's actually, you know, it's, it's a nice enough site. There's nothing particularly fa fancy here. This is very kind of straightforward stuff. They have a, a, a mobile app, which I think is interesting. I think that's going to help the authority of the site. And what we see very quickly on the home page is they have a very, very strong uh, interlinking structure. And this is something that they repeat right throughout the site. And they have very mm -hmm. strong layering uh, with, you know, parent and child um, link structures going down three, four levels. And this is right across the site. So all the, they're, they're, they're number one on towing. And these are all their towing uh, service pages, uh, uh, service and location pages. So they have jrop.com slash services slash towing slash Los Angeles. Um, so we'll get into these pages and have a little bit of a look. But that's that's it. The, the interesting thing is they don't have an about page. They don't have a privacy page. There's not a lot of that kind of information. They have a reviews page. They just have FAQs, which is actually very short. It, there's, I mean, this is, that's it. <laughs> that, that's the FAQ page. Oh. Um they they have a little bit of schema on on the pages like product and review schema but nothing major and um you know we'll go into some of the pages now what what's interesting when i looked at this and this sort of really made me look at it is um the amount of repetition on on this so this is this is the um car locksmith page actually let, let me try and look at uh, where's towing we'll go on towing um so they have a service page at the top and that's just generic with no uh, locations. And then uh, they have all the descriptions, they have images, they, they have text across the images, which I think is quite interesting. They use a lot of bold, they use a lot of internal linking. Um, and these are all, you know, standard um, terms from an SEO perspective, they use some bullets. Uh, they have um, a map embedded, and that's something that I, I do and, we, and is recommended. So if you're using Magic Page plugin, this supports the maps very well. We can use that on Enterprise. They have a video here embedded on every page, which is interesting. And when you actually go onto their YouTube channel, it's the same video. It's an identical video that they've had for, that was been there for like uh, nearly three years, and they just embed the same video on every page, which I think is really, uh, really interesting, because uh, obviously that, that thought of a should you be varying it having different content but what we'll see is a theme across the site is duplicate content and this is duplicate content that is ranking exceptionally well here's their a generic faq and then here's where it gets really interesting we get down to the bottom here and what we see is uh this this strong really strong interlinking uh, again we saw it on the home page we see here uh, as well and and then we get into the the, the um the cities. So this is, we're on the, the towing page and here are all the individual cities. So when we go down into the city level, so we're at services slash towing slash Albuquerque, um, it's basically the same as the main service page, same uh, sort of images and, and same approach. In fact, it's pretty much the same uh, content that the actual variations are really only uh, the um, the location modifiers, you know, they actually, the, if you go through it, the text is, as far as I can tell, is the same. Now, I've run Sightliner on this, and it's telling me that 40% of the pages in the site are the same, and another 30, 40% are common. So it's pretty much identical pages as they go through each different thing. So towing is, you know, the same page, just with the, um, 
locations spun out. And then you go there, there's the map, you know, there's the same video, one video, there's the FAQ, and there's all this this interlinking. And and can you go back to yeah. the, the map area that was on are you on a city page there? I'm on Albuquerque. Okay, yeah. So take a look at that Albuquerque information. I'm just gonna blow up the screen. Okay, so yeah. that's like a is that points of interest? I'm having hard time seeing it on my screen, but this this image uh, looks a bit. I mean, is that Albuquerque? It may well be Albuquerque. I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe they've got dynamic images. I mean, it's interesting how they've done this. If if this is like automated or is manual, mm -hmm. be, you know, because clearly there's a lot of content here. But so uh, this is all you know specific to a bit of formatting problems. But this is specific to Albuquerque. This looks a little bit like it's being pulled from Wikipedia, which yes. makes me start to think that maybe it uh, is using its own proprietary thing, or mm -hmm. maybe Page Generator Pro. Or mm -hmm. something like that, which does have a way to pull in yeah. content um, relevant and photos relevant to a particular keyword. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, this is definitely very interesting. I'd like to actually look at the code on it and look a little bit closer to see. Um, mm. Did you look to see if it's a WordPress site? Uh, I, lo I looked at it on Built With, and it wouldn't give me any information. It, it wouldn't uh, mm -hmm. show what the technology is behind it. So uh, I didn't get any any further into actually looking at inspecting the code. But you can do that if you want, or you can have a look in the, in the background if you want to have a check it out. But yeah, I will do that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so let, let's just prove the point. So if we go to uh, the next one here, um, this is again towing, and you know it's the same stuff. So these images are different. That's different, but it's the same format. And this text, as far as I can tell, is is the same text as we as we go through. So there's mm -hmm. uh, there's a new a different image there. So by the way, uh, it is, oh, this, oh, sorry, that's also transport. Sorry, that I've flipped onto a different um, sh uh, niche there. Apologies. Uh, yeah, this is WordPress, and I'm gonna do a little queries to see if I can figure out what they're using for plugins. And 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 just sort of to, to go through in this a little bit more detail. So this is um, there's different levels down here. So it actually goes into the towing of each individual type of car as well. So it names all the um, here we go. That there's all the different brands there. So there's a lot of content on this site. And it's if you do um, site index, which is a, gives you an indication of how big something is. Um, we're on uh, you know. 80,000 pages plus on this, you know, uh, I scanned it with Screaming Frog and I, I gave up once it got to about 100,000. So it's, it's certainly a big, a big site, uh, which I think is pretty um, interesting. So, I mean, you, I think you need some, uh, some sort of automation to make this work. I, I mean, you, I don't think you'd try and do this with, um, with just, a, you know, a VA or, or, or three to, to build it out. To be honest, a lot of this front end stuff does look a little bit like a combination of something custom and Page Generator mm -hmm. Pro. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at it. Um, it is WordPress. Um, I don't know that Page Generator Pro is on it, um, but they are using Yoast SEO, which is interesting. Oh, okay. Um, well, I didn't find and that. It's that an older version yeah. of PHP mm -hmm. um, uh, on the server, but it's um, Nginx. So it's. We should take a look at the uh, the speed of one of the city pages. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that while you're while you're talking. Yeah, I mean, I, I looked at GT Metrics earlier on, and it was getting an A, and um, it looked pretty okay. fast. The page size was like 1.5 meg, and then I did put it through PageSpeed Insights, and the desktop was getting 98, and it was green. The the mobile was about 50, getting an orange, so. Uh, wasn't looking uh, looking so good, but I mean it's not a massive site. Uh, I guess they've got the video embed, which is always going to make things slow. So, um, you know, yeah, and I'm really curious. Like, um, I'm really really curious because if you look at a lot of uh, graphs of you know what tends to lead high bumps and um, rankings and things like that, a lot of times it, it comes down to having traffic. And if you look at the, the time frame that this site has been out and you look at the fact that they haven't run ads, okay? Yes. Like I looked at their ads campaign. There is no like data on ads on this domain. Um, <clears throat> but I suspect, um, and by the way, I'm getting uh, a 100 performance and 88 on structure on GT metrics. So yeah. uh, 728 milliseconds and... Mm -hmm. No render blocking speeds, and the, mm -hmm. the cumulative shift is near to nothing. So yep. if this is a um, a good, well 
optimized um, site with regard to speed, which is, I think, number one or number two in mass stage of things to do. Um, structure is very important. Um, structure, but, yeah, speed, yeah. structure. It's got all, I mean, it ticks all the boxes, yeah. doesn't it? You know, when you can say, yeah. well, it's got the good on page, it's got a map, it's got a video, it's it's got all yeah. the titles worked out nicely, it's fast. You know, there's there's a lot of things that are going for it, and and clearly it's, um, clearly it's worked. So, I mean, this is just my kind of summary of, we can go back to the site, this is my kind of summary of uh, observations on it. And as you say, I mentioned the the short domain name, strong interleaking. They've got some schema markup, but I don't think it's mm -hmm. masses. Mm -hmm. um, no about, no privacy page, strong on page. That's the mobile app. Um, and, but but yeah, the interesting thing is like the, the duplicate content because it, although mm -hmm. it obviously doesn't duplicate it from um, service to service, within the services, and there's clearly hundreds and hundreds of pages there, to me, just looking at it, it looks the same. And when I ran it through Sightliner, they, they ran a lot of it was the same as well. So, you know, it was interesting. Yeah, I'm just going to look also while you're looking here, I'm going to look at the Play Store um, and see what kind of ranking that particular uh, app has. Because um, if they're getting a lot of traffic from um, the app, maybe, you know, if the app's like more popular that could also help the website out because it, it, it to me, it looks like the uh, traffic is a big part of the success mm. of this. And um, I always think that CTR is important, but mm -hmm. also having just user metrics as far as inside of the Chrome browser of bounce rates and like how quickly, how long somebody stays on the page and how quickly they leave and all of those kinds of signals. Uh, tells Google, you know, how good it is. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, this is clearly lead gen stuff, though, all the way through. So I don't think they'd be sending traffic from their app to this website. It's really about bringing people do, do you in. Think, do, you think, do you think the app is for, yeah, for, for credibility and authority yeah. on the site? Yeah, and, and traffic, yeah. It's, it's signals, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Colin just asked you a question here, or I was making an observation that the location text and images are all from Wikipedia. So that's interesting, Colin. Thanks mm -hmm. for uh, sharing that. So that, that gives you some insight there. Um, that makes me think Page Generator Pro. Yeah. Uh, Don saying they do hold a big balloon festival in Albuquerque, so that yeah. does look like that is an Albuquerque view. Um, same video because it has millions of views. Yeah, I mean it, it's uh, I didn't check the views on it when I looked, but it's the same video, so um, I, I'm sure they've got a lot of views by now. Well, yeah, we should actually look at that video inside of YouTube. Let me just go ahead and do that mm -hmm. because then we can kind yeah. of tell exactly how many people are watching. There's only a thousand views on that video uh, <clears throat> with all those pages and everything like but that. But it doesn't auto and play. When, uh, yeah. One um, thumbs up. And this uh, video is from 2018. Yes. So there's something that's interesting here. Like there's <laughs> definitely this is a showpiece for an SEO company for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, there's one video inside of their inside of their uh, YouTube. So um, and it's mm -hmm. got, you know, like 101 views on it. And that other one is an unlisted video and has a thousand views mm -hmm. on it. So very very interesting example. Um, it is, yeah. But, but you know, I mean, and, and most of the the actual traffic growth has been in the last few months. I mean, the the, the values just popped up, and it's mm. gone from twenty thirty thousand to three hundred thousand dollars plus. So they've had a big result very uh, recently. Um, but that that is going to you know it's a lead generation uh, site that's going to track into lead. And if you're number one for mm -hmm. things like New York towing, you, you're gonna you, you're gonna get traffic, aren't you? So yeah, interesting. Yeah, I really love that question. Um, I don't know if that uh, last question was from Don or not. Uh, Don, um, yeah, Don there. But let me just go ahead and share my screen for a second. Um, you guys could look up the same thing if you have uh, Ahrefs. I'm just looking at their uh, top pages. And if you take a look, the very first one is services towing. Next is services towing near me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you can see that number of keywords is dramatic for these. So I really feel like they've, yep. you know, optimized for this, like junk car removal, jump start, right? These are actual services pages inside of the uh, sitemap. And then you start getting into, you know, actual, you know, towing locations. So um, yep. you have like, uh, here's Culver City, here's Los Angeles, right? So we don't really have... Uh, car brand to car brand and all of that kind of stuff kind of coming into these uh these top pages let me just go ahead and just yeah. hit the the keyword so it's all a pyramid though isn't it but they've got those service pages right at the top and then they've obviously got the sub uh, folders all the way down and and there's a number of layers of that and i think that is you know with the amount of interlinking they've got 
and the on-page. I mean, it's just a very strong setup, isn't it? The amount yeah, of content absolutely. that is going to be relevant for from Google's perspective is, I mean, it all points to the the, the, near, the near me search at the top is great because mm -hmm. they cover looks like every city in the states, you know, with a really good yeah. um, page on each and and the detail below. So, I, if you guys are not taking your uh, services pages seriously, this is a really good situation. Mm -hmm. If you take a look at the services pages here for cash for junk cars, all right, just in this page alone. Um, they have 1.1 thousand in value in 1200 keywords that it's coming up for buy junk cars inside of, uh, inside of, uh, a trap. So it's buy junk cars and various variations of that. Um, the search volume for that is 8.7 K. And then over here is obviously a tough one to compete in roadside assistant. Uh, that has 28,000 searches per month. And they've got 120 keywords, okay? Which is, you know, they're 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 fighting against AAA and all these you know big uh, roadside assistance companies in in that. But you, you just take a look at this cash for junk cars. You know who's who's going for that compared to roadside assistance, right? Mm. So that's why they're getting so many wins with that, even without a whole lot of a huge authority on their domain. Is mm. you you can see that these are little specific optimizations. Um, but what are the top traffic? Yeah, so, so it's, it's the towing page, isn't it? That that's the big one at the top there. Yeah. So let's take a look. Yeah. So the the big one here is uh, services towing. So it's yeah. higher than their home page, and yeah. then towing service near me. So guys, towing is a huge niche. Like look at this. Yeah, it's massive. Twenty eight thousand, yeah. eleven thousand, and look at they've got page position one. Yeah. Right. For tow truck mega, company. Yeah. Right. So wrecker service. So these are like their top keyword wrecker service near me. It's not like tow, you know, tow truck. Like sometimes people use different phraseology mm -hmm. and some people call it a wrecker. Some people call it a, a tow truck company. Some people call it yeah. jumpstart, you know, um, but but they've got so many hundred of hundreds of keywords all ranking on the right. same page, don't they? Because yep. I think that repetition and that detail they've got, they're just hitting it again and again. I mean, when they do this, when they do the city pages, that the mm -hmm. city's in every single header. I mean, it's something I'm going to take in terms of the, my approach because I would normally blend it out a little bit and have some with the city, some with the state, something without. You know, don't over optimize. At least on this example, this this is like there's there's no prisoners taken here. This is absolutely mm -hmm. every single every single H two H three has got the city in it, as far as I can tell. Right, absolutely, and and they've got the structure. If you look at this page, mm -hmm. it's really not brain surgery. It's no, it's, it's not. No. Look at it. It's got this you know basic structure. Your H twos and all of that stuff throughout here. You got your bullet points right, and you yeah. got the different phraseology in here. Then you have this FAQ. You have you know, Google knowing that there's a video here, that's fine. They don't really need that. Um, and then they don't have, you know, too many outbound links. They're just boosting up these services pages. Um, mm -hmm. I like this one, like stuck in a ditch, right? Yeah. That, maybe, that's yeah. a great, great, great keyword. Insight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a great 100%. keyword. Um, junk car removal. You know, it's not your the the biggest keywords. They're just slapping mm -hmm. on here at random. They're just kind of, you know, pulling some low-hanging fruit. Yeah. So the, I think whoever did the keyword research did a good job on this site. Yeah. Um, you've got, you got 100,000 pages, haven't you? So the, 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 in the yeah. pyramid, the way it spreads out, you, you're covering all the bases ultimately, aren't you? So it's yeah. very impressive. Uh, it's yeah. a great example. I think if, you know, I think for me, for you, for any for anybody that's thinking about mass this, this is a, a real kind of um, text uh, textbook example in, in what you mm -hmm. want to put on that page. You know, um, the, the buttons, the, the headers, the video, the maps, you know. The yep. bullets, the bold text. It's a, it's a good, you know, and it shows also duplicate content ranks. I mean, that's the whole thing. Is like, well, mass mm -hmm. page doesn't work because duplicate content doesn't work. This is it. This is an example. Anybody that ever says <laughs> you want an example, I think this is a great example. You know. Yeah, and I think also, and I don't know if there's a real like, you know, expert that can say exactly what the algorithm weighs short domains with. But I really feel like mass.page does well in the searches because it's so short and it's it spans the dot and it's exactly what the topic is. Mm -hmm. um, I you know I think a four letter domain can be very very powerful and let's just go take a look at what Nameworth says. This is an ultra premium, so let's say whether they were able to buy this on an auction for a few thousand dollars, you know five thousand or whatever. The the 
the name worth value is 34,500, which is, you know, quite good. If you go to Estabot, um, which is pretty stingy usually, this is like what a domain buyer would buy it for is about $14,000. Um, and then we use this other tool called worth my site. And if you put this in here, it says with the backlinks and everything, it's worth $58,681, um, according to this tool. Mm -hmm. So um, a short domain, I think, lends help to the fact that the SEO, I think, is favored by a short domain. What do you think, yeah. Simon? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, and the brand doesn't mean anything. I don't know what j Rock yeah. means. I don't think it means anything. It's just a short domain. So I think it's a great, mm -hmm. uh, a great example. You could have gone for an exact match domain. You could have gone for, you know, USA towing services or, or something or stuck in a ditch dot com or something. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, at least on this, it seems to, uh, it seems to be working you know uh you, you can't pinpoint each individual factor that's working well but but yeah this is a short domain and and it's a, it's a domain with a lot of links internally and, and a lot of duplicate content so it's uh it's all good so yeah this is a another one a couple of people just uh, commenting there uh, going up against the big guys there <laughs> and uh great strategy yeah good to see you, marcel yeah i think yeah. it's uh, it's a great one to look at so yeah make make a note i think it's good a good inspiration I, I wouldn't mind a site like j-rock that's for sure but you, you found another one didn't you daryl you were you, yeah you were, so i've used the, this the stuff you found in the wild yeah <laughs> yeah i found this in the wild because i was uh doing some crypto and i was using this um tool uh to set rules and try some different formulas and stuff for investing in cryptocurrency and so when i found this i i took a look at the structure of the site and they have like here if you look at coinrule.com they sometimes have the word bot or tools or whatever and then they have these this structure after here with keywords um that you know, based the, on here, you can see here's uh, Ethereum Classic, and then you see Ethereum Classic up here. You see Kraken, you see Kraken right here. Okay. And so crypto trading bot stays static, then Kraken gets put in here, then Ethereum Classic gets put in here. You can kind of see their data working on this. Okay. This, all of this is after that is duplicate. This is duplicate. And then this is block spun. This is what we do with uh, spin text uh, on Siphon AI is we do block spinning. And so these different sentences you'll see repeated in different parts of the app, but then you'll just see them throw in the keywords in different places. Um, they throw in a tool, okay? So you can do your estimations and everything. So this is on every page. This is a great way to get people to dwell on the page and spend mm -hmm. some time, which keeps them there longer, which gives a great user signal back to Google on any kind of um, mass kind of page, okay? So here we go again. We're mentioning Kraken. We're using the blah, blah, blah mass page content. And um, because that's where this belongs in that topic, it's, it's, a, it's talking about um, that particular um, uh, coin or platform or whatever. And then you get you see down through here um, them using all of this stuff again. But everything else is some, pretty much either uh, block spun or um, or uh, reused. Um, and then they just kind of put the variables in there. Not sure. I don't think that this is WordPress. I really don't. Um, let me just take a look here. I'm hitting the wrong. Thing. I'm trying to hit this I think one, one thing I'll say about this is it's a nice looking site, isn't it? I mean, so, sometimes mm -hmm. you look at some mass page sites and that they, they have a bit of a pattern and a formula in it, and it, but this this doesn't instantly look like a mass page site. This this looks like it's been individually designed. You know, I mean, the, the mm -hmm. colors help and the design, but it's it's good from that point of view. Here's another sometimes, one. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes mass page sites look a bit functional. But this one looks like a properly designed site, which is which is cool. Yeah, so look at this as develop your order and let it work for you on Kraken and many others. This says outpace the altcoin market uh, automated trading robot on fill in the blank trade BTT, which is Bitcoin BTT. So this is an alias for that, like a pro, no code required, right? And so there's various variations on here. All right, so... One of the things that I'm going to criticize this site on is that it's not what it's not doing is having enough repetition. I know that's counteractive mm -hmm. to some of the things that have been done before because everybody's been so fearful of duplicate content. And one of the things that I've noticed um, on you know a myriad of sites that I've been looking at in the last year and a half is 
duplicate content to uh, structural duplicate content is important actually for ranking. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't, not that it doesn't hurt you or hurt help you. It's it's actually important to have a a, a, a static amount of content. That consistency, yeah. Consistency with a page. Yeah. Okay, so if you overdo it, um, and we'll we'll take a look at this coin rule, um, and you'll see that um, it has struggled given the uh, number of pages in the sitemap. Um, I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and uh, hit the thing. Um, Compared, you know, I think compared to what it could do, I think that there's almost too much variety. Mm. Um, and I've seen this in my tests, like with other sites that I've done with so much variety, they don't perform as well. That has uh, have uh, some blocks of content that stays the same. Mm. We do the same thing. I was talking to a user of Mentorprise content and I was explaining to him that, you know, I, I do more duplicate content than, you know, um, than maybe other people do. Um, and so I, I don't know if that's the reason why it's done pretty well, um, or not, but it, it you know, it, it's always an example of, you know, you test it, you reverse engineer it, you know, I'll go all back and forth. So the, there are two things that, in my mind that help the most right now. Uh, one is the speed of the site and how well and low light it is with regard to, you know, JavaScript. So if you go back to here, um, this is most likely a JavaScript, right? And every yeah. single page has to have this uh, in it, okay? It's great because it spends time on the page. I, I like that part. Um, but it, there, if there is, if it's heavy code in any way, it could it definitely be a problem. Uh, we tell people that are uh, users on Enterprise to, just be really careful about throwing a lot of, you know, um, JavaScripts into the page. Um, mm -hmm. It's able to do it. You can do it, but sometimes you just don't want to do it. You want to keep the site as fast and light as possible. Um, so, so that's that's that on this. End. Yeah, no, I'd agree with that. I think there's just not quite enough oomph is there. If there's not enough repetition of the keywords it's trying to go after, so I don't think there's quite enough content to to get it there. I mean, it's it's obviously throwing a lot of pages out, so it's going to be unique. So you'll you'll hit some long tail keywords that way but anything that's competitive it's probably not going to have enough to um, to try to uh, get there and i think the issue about duplicate content is it's not duplicate content across the site it's duplicate content of stuff that you've taken off other people's sites is is the issue because google doesn't want to rank the same thing from different sites um more than once you know and it's going to choose the site where it believes that it originally came from or which has the highest domain authority so um yeah duplicate content i.e consistency on the services you provide for your own business multiple times in different locations it, I, I think is fine i mean jrock proves it's it's fine if you want an example uh, then this one i think it doesn't quite have enough uh, duplicate content or enough repetition yeah, to, see, to get there yeah you can see how it just sort of hits a peak and then kind of flattens mm. out and it could be because they're trying too hard in other areas I, I don't know like sometimes i think that if you try a little bit too much with your backlinks because look at this mm. 3.1k and referring domains and look at their backlinks in the past yeah seven days are up a thousand so there, there's a lot yeah. more backlinks hammering it yeah this. yeah they're hammering it so um, j-rob had what th a few hundred you know, yeah, a few hundred exactly. referring domains, and that these guys exactly. have got three thousand in yeah. in uh, under a year. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. So um, it's sometimes best to just let the backlinks come in naturally, and like try to build up the pages so people want to mm. link to you. Um, you know, I've for for a while have been just like, don't do hardly any backlinking at all. Just be organic about it and let it all kind of come in mm. because I didn't know where Google was with regard to the algorithm. You know, everybody says, Oh yeah, it's safe to have a Google stack and just throw everything through it. Mm. But what if that changes? What if all of a sudden, Oh my God, if, if Google finds a Google stack, now it's going to penalize you. Right. Because it's obvious it, it has a pure pet pattern to it. You can figure it out pretty easily <laughs> that it's there, mm. you know, so uh, because I've been down the road with so many algorithm changes, I'm sure you and I, everybody has, um, you, you have to be, kind of be careful about these kinds of things and say, OK, let's stick to the main guidelines, which is, you know, don't do a whole lot of fake stuff. Um, but the, the, the one fake thing that I'm still into, um, one is, you know, take care of the on page structure and the speed of the site remove as much JavaScript as you can. But the other thing that I'm really into right now is 
uh, traffic and um, mm -hmm. doing the dance with Google. In other words, getting the traffic seems to trigger um, a lot of other good signals. Um, but first work on your on page, make sure that the site is great. So people kind of, you know, spend some good time on it um, and things like that. And then if you have to do some things with uh, click through rate or through just traffic in general, just direct traffic um, can, can through those, through those side pages, those mass pages um, to, to kind of get them to go, just, you know, pick, pick a handful of 50 of your uh, pages you want to have ranked, just throw some direct traffic through a Chrome browser into them. Um, and you'll start to see something happen. It's it's almost just like you know helping a little kid to walk. You you got to give him a little help. Um, and so that's that's what I suggest. All right. Sounds uh, sounds good. We had a question come in from Learner just earlier on. Do TLDs matter for Google ranking? Um, you want to? I I would say in the in most cases um, the country code could throw it off a little bit. Okay, where if you have, um, to me, I don't know. I mean, if you have a country code that is like Nigeria and your site is about uh, USA, right? There's, there could be an argument said that, you know, Google's going to label that as a Nigerian website a little bit more, right? Or, you know, XXX, you know, triple X is a domain extension, right? And your site's about towing and you have got a triple X website. Have you got you got many of those sites, Daryl? No, I don't share actually. with us now in, in the portfolio. No, <laughs> no, but but the thing is, is that I mean, you you want to use things that make sense. So if you're targeting the United States, I would definitely suggest a .com or something that spans the dot, like mine, the page, mass dot page mm -hmm. spans the dot. Or I have um, um, I have what it um, I have an Indian domain. I was going to say, what about I.O.? Because that would be an example yep. that kind of disproves that, wasn't it? Because that's now become well, a and that's right. IT kind of, you know, software, SaaS sort of right. thing. But, yeah. but I don't think that having a .io necessarily puts you in an SEO advantage. I think that um, I also have found that sometimes a premium domain that costs a bit more um, sometimes it's taken a little bit more serious by, by Google. Don't know how that works, but I've, I've bought yeah. domains that are, you know, $500 a year to register and just to register, not to like buy yeah. this every year is $500. And those rank pretty darn well. Um, yeah. So I think, I think there's also the impact on click through rate as well, isn't it? Because I think if, if the domain looks legitimate and, mm -hmm. and mainstream like a .com, people are going to trust it. Whereas I think if it's, you know, .xyz or whatever else you've got on the end of it, I think, I think that's going to be a, a factor that's going to hold people back. So it's going to look more spammy. Yeah. I, yeah. I think the more obscure the domain name is. So, uh, so yeah. yeah, we've got a lull from Marcel earlier on i'm not sure what he was laughing about i think it might have been your um your uh, domain portfolio daryl but we won't we won't go there yeah uh, that's another another that question hurts. here that hurts that hurts yeah um how monetization revenue works for com for different locations uh learners asking about that hmm. Not quite so, sure of that, but yeah, you, yeah, I don't know down. exactly what you mean. I mean, from a lead generation standpoint, if you can build up landing pages for plumber plus Washington DC, you know, and you rank in the top three, that's worth money. That's you know, like if you were building an asset and you can hold that position, that is worth almost as much money as somebody's house uh, to to buy a mortgage, you know. Um, because it's, it's just so powerful to be able to pull in the leads because you're, you're holding that position. So this stuff you take seriously, um, any of these kinds of links, like, you know, the, this example here with J Rob, with all these towing and junk car removal and all these kinds of things, that's money in their pocket because they can take that traffic any day of the week. They can do rank and rent and sell it out to somebody else. They can, you know, do all kinds of things with it um, to make more money. It's it's an asset, just like you have a brick of gold uh, sitting in a safe deposit box. It is real. You know, it's real stuff. So um, that's. I hope that's an answer to your question, Larry. So, Daryl, I think this has been a really good discussion. We covered some ground. We had some great questions uh, from everyone watching, which is great. But uh, conscious of the time, uh, mm -hmm. we've we kind of yeah, uh, we're getting want close, to move yeah. on to some other other things yeah, as well. So I so, wanna... Yeah, let's go on to Siphon. Yeah. Yeah, so um, so Siphon, we've had some more development that we've done this week. And for those that are enterprise users, you always get first access to stuff. So currently, uh, if you use uh, Siphon, you'll see um, on the front end, the suggested keywords is now minimized. So you have to kind of click on the box to have it have it come in, okay? 
And so like, let's say for instance, you were to put in uh, my name in here um, and you hit get, you would see, okay, there's one thing. Let me just put in Ledyard. All right, see all these different things? Now when you click on it, you'll see up above, it just puts a comma next to each thing, okay? And so you can do the same thing over here if you were to do get. I don't think you're going to get much because it's going to be relevant to these things. So you, you won't get that. Um, but let's say, for instance, you clear this out. And we just type in my last name again just for giggles here. Um, there's a town called Ledyard. Um, so let's see if it comes up with questions. Okay, so here we go. So there's a whole bunch of different. Uh, keywords that you can look up. These are just to get your brain thinking of different things because the, the the more you make um, a longer phrase, okay, the, the better your results are going to be when you do a search, okay? So um, it's, it's better to not just put a, just a single keyword. It's better to kind of put like a suggested thing. Um, so let me show you. I don't know. I'm just going to put... Um, I don't want that. Um, let's just put in Super Bowl. There's a football game called the Super Bowl coming up. Um, location and time. Let's try that. All right. So we're going to put that up. Hit siphon. Oh, it, it has the other thing in here. We don't want that. <laughs> All right. I didn't. I didn't clear the form here. Hold on a second. Let me. This is why we don't try anything live, right, Simon? Well, this is why I always do slides, uh, Daryl. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I do SE ranking or put something up, I, I, I take a screenshot. But uh, yeah, I'm you like to, in my you, boots right now. You like to live dangerously, so that's yes, okay. Yes, all of Siphon right now is beta. So if it doesn't work 100%, it's still uh, beta Siphon uh, AI inside of Mass Page Tools. But here you go. Here's some content that's coming in from the search engines. And if you go ahead and you click the original, you can see what the original page was. And you can see what, what um, Siphon has done over here on the rewritten side. And you'll see it's just going through. And uh, here's another thing. All right. And you can see this the difference in the text between the two different ones. And it uses AI to rewrite it. All right. So you'll just see more and more just kind of comes through as you go get a glass of water or something. But um, let's now we have this stop button, which we didn't have before. This is new this week. So now if you put stop, it says you'll lose your connection. But what it does is um, it's not like you have to refresh. Now you still have all of this stuff here that you can use. You can send it to the form, all of that. Um, all right. So inside of here, this is, again, for um, people that have Siphon AI or have Enterprise, you can click Spin Text. And instead of using Word AI, uh, we're using our, our artificial intelligence to to create the spin text for you. So you can hit the preview and you can see it respin and respin and respin. So um, so this is this is uh, already in place for you if you are using the the form for this. You could do the same thing if you're going to use any of these other uh, options up here. So let's say we want to grab something that does have some decent text. Okay, so we're just going to grab. Um, this URL here, and I'm going to put it into bulk URLs and do this. If I say you had a list of URLs, you could go ahead and do a siphon on that. Uh, or you can just take this and just uh, put it into search the URL. And that'll go ahead and scan the URL for various other pages that you can pull in information from. Uh, so I really love this feature because if you have like a site that you're trying to rewrite, you can just put in the uh, URL and just have it go after it. All right. So this is going to do, uh, I'm just going to pull this stuff out. All right. And we're going to do a siphon on this. Now, if you want it to summarize, you just move it over to less content. And when it does grab it, it's just going to summarize it for each time that it goes through. Okay. So each time it goes through, it'll go through and grab what content it is. I haven't like, looked at these links, but I just was grabbing it off there. The best thing to do is to grab some good example links and, um, and do it from there. All right. Now, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another feature that is in beta as well that you get access to starting today. If you are with um, Mass Page Tools, uh, Enterprise Plan or Siphon AI. Um, and so 
we go here and this is the URL. I'm just going to drop it into the box here uh, for those of you that have um, Siphon um, inside of their stuff. I want to, I think I sent that out. Yeah, and... it's gone out there. I can see that uh, just coming out there. Oh, Daryl looks like he's switched himself off then. So in an effort to uh, share the link, uh, he's switched himself off. I'm sure he'll be back in the stream yard and uh, just saying, oh, here he is. He's coming back in. There I, we are. I, I pushed the refresh button. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, no, it, yeah, I'm just saying, was... it, yeah, it's been shared in the group. It's fine. It, okay. It's all there. Yeah. So yeah, folks, if you use uh, the login, go to app.mass.page slash siphon slash spin text. Um, and so in this, uh, I was just going to show you an example. So let's take, for instance, uh, let's just take this little paragraph here. Um, you need to share your screen again, Daryl. I've put the link up oh. on the screen. Yeah, I think oh, it just yeah, uh, cancelled off. That. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, so there's the there's the link. But if you want to just uh, share yep. your screen again, we can see that. You're still on yep. J-Rod So there. I'll yep. just go ahead and grab this um, thing here. And we'll grab it to there. Okay, we're just going to grab it, put it into the spin text. So now you have access to this. Um, I'm just going to put it like this, and we're going to hit spin. And we have some kind of cool features here that um, I, I hope you guys are going to like, and I'd love to get your reaction to it because you're the first people to see this besides Simon. Um, so it's doing its spinning, okay? And now we have all of that spin text right here that you can put into your uh, favorite mass page tool. Um, if you go to previews, um, this is under beta, but you'll have all these different uh, page pagination. Let me see if I can get I can get that to work if I have less text in here. But there'll be different pages, and you just go through and you click it, and you can refresh it. But I did want to show you this here. Uh, I'll I'll increase this so you can see it. All right, under editor, you can go here, and you see all this highlights here. You can right click on it, and it gives you all of the spin text options. All right, so you'd be able to go ahead and change this to this, and now that sentence has changed, and you can go there and change this to this. So it can kind of be like a writing assistant for you and help you to rewrite something if you want, or you can use it to just give yourself some variations. Um, but it's it's a lot of fun. You know, and you can see all the work that our AI does. It's totally different than the old way of doing spin text because this, these are like rewritten sentences. They're just, look at the difference in these. All right, and this is our exclusive AI, AI nobody else has. So um, spent a lot of money. Simon knows how much money I've spent on this. <laughs> so I hope you guys like it because I, I, it's the foundation of a lot of stuff that we're building now that um, you'll see uh, into play. And if you don't already have mass page tools, uh, enter, enterprise plan, um, reach out to me at daryl.chat or on Facebook. Um, I do, I have a, a promo code kicking around maybe, um, but we can get you so you can try it out and see if what you think of it. Um, because, uh, you know, we, we obviously are proud of this. I'm proud of this. Um, and, uh, I think that this is going to be very useful for, for people. Um, and again, it's in beta, so you won't be able to do like a massive amount of text all once, but well, we're making it so you'll do like 10,000 characters, which is quite a bit. Um, uh, so all right, so that's that, um, about 53 minutes. Now, this is your last chance to go to prizes.live. That's prizes.live, a domain that we found with Domain Kicks. And if you go and you go to that, um, you'll see you fill out the form and your name and information. This week, we are giving away Quick Blog. So you go to go.ht slash Quick Blog. Let's see, go.ht. Can you throw that on the screen here? Uh, yep. We we had uh, Duran for uh, uh, Duran uh, on here. Now this is on AppSumo. I don't think he has a video yet, but I'm sure he's gonna be because look at that fifty he's, reviews. He's on Select now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Let is me... awesome. Yeah. So fifty reviews, and we're gonna give you a three stack. Which if you see here, you get forty five blog accounts. All right. Um, so 45, do you want to just make it four? Want to make it a that's, four? Yeah, full, let's max stack it. Yeah. Let's, let's max we, we, stack we, it. Yeah, All right. On, You're going to get 90 blog accounts today just by going over to this account. So that would be like, was it four times 60? So it'd be $240, right? Uh, value today on just being here. Just go ahead and go to, uh, prizes.live. 
and fill in your name and your email. And uh, in a few minutes, we're going to draw. So it's easy. Sounds, Very sounds easy. good. Yeah. Now, um, Colin uh, K asked a question earlier on uh, about Prize Live. Do you have to re enter every week? And the answer yes. is yes. Yeah. 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 So we we uh, we clear the slate. I mean, you, you don't have to be on the show. We always want you to watch live, but you can you can fill this in in the run up to the show, and then we'll draw it live. But it, it resets every week, so new chance to uh, enter the draw and uh, and get in. And we will have another mystery prize next Sunday, won't we, Daryl? Yes, another mystery si prize. And sometimes uh, it's a mystery to us what it will be, but it will well, definitely right be a now mystery, it is. and there will definitely um, be a prize. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be worth, I would say, over forty dollars at least. Okay, so no matter what, it'll be worth over forty dollars. Yeah, it could be a it, course, yeah. it could be a lifetime deal, it could be you know a one on one consult. Yeah, so we do a lot of giveaways here. Absolutely, learn it. We try to make it worth your while. So people getting uh, excited. Tim, people have jumped the gum a little bit because I'm I'm conscious that lifetime deal of the week hasn't been shared yet. But that, that's okay. Shall I yeah. do that whilst you're sorting out yeah. the names? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll sort out the names. And um, also, if you guys throw in your names right now, we're going to use that for the domain kicks uh, giveaway, which is a domain um, which we'll talk about in a minute. All right. Go ahead. Look, so I, I, I see the no, the numbers of people watching is building in anticipation for this particular slot. It's not the giveaway. It's it's it's, it's the it's lifetime, lifetime deal of the week. It is. It is. It yeah, it wonderful happens. thing. Well, I've made, I've made the slides, so I've got to share them. Right. Anyway, look, lifetime deal of the week. So this one is um, FYI, um, and uh, it's on pitch ground at the moment. It's actually been on for a couple of months, and it's ending in the next day or two. Um, if you want to support the channel, uh, it's uh, our affiliate link is go.ht slash pitchground, where you can find FYI on that. So just to explain what um, FYI is, I'm going to go out of here and just go in. So it's effectively a uh, pitch ground is like a, a curated link um, list. So what you get is something like, here's some example sites here, which hopefully everyone can see. So if I go in here, this is actually somebody who has built one for AppSumo. So you get a profile picture, you get some text, and you basically can paste in your links, and it will put up this qu quite nice sort of masonry design and show you all of the different links you click through, and then that's it. So it's a way of sharing links. It could be affiliate links. It could be uh, links to products that you sell. It could be links to maybe news articles that you've got together. So I thought that was quite nice. Now, one of the things I really think is cool about this is if I take some of my affiliate links, so I'll just copy and paste that. There's a few of them there. And if I go up to here, I, I literally just paste all the links in. It'll create this page instantly. So I don't know what your use case is. I really like this. So I'll just watch this. I'll paste it in. And then look, it finds all of the uh, images. So it's the images, it's the text, it's the links, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, and if anybody set these up through Switchy or whatever else, you know, it takes a bit of time to make sure you get the image right and the text and this, that, and the next thing. And, th and that's it. So I've pasted that in. I could have pasted in 100. And I press Create New Smart List. And I will say, you know, Demo List or something. Um, and then it, it creates the, the Smart List. And I can send this link to somebody and... Um, and it's uh, all here. Look, there you go. Uh, how, how quick was that? So that is simonhogman.fyi.2 slash demo test. And, it, and it's all there. So I think there must be some really cool ways you could use this. You can also put in links at the bottom and buttons and uh, menus. Think a few menu things there from stuff I was doing before. And, and that's it. So that is, um, I don't know. I just think it's quite cool. I quite liked it. So that was uh, lifetime uh, lifetime deal of the week. Um, if you want to go there to, uh, to pitch ground and see it in the next day or two. So uh, yeah. awesome, yeah. And anything you buy from Pitchground off of that, like you're gonna get landed right on the homepage. It just helps out the show. If you see anything on there that you like and you want to support us, go ahead and just buy it with that link. Uh, it does help out the show. It helps us to buy more lifetime deals, so you can see behind the curtain of how these things work. I mean, Simon and I work hard to kind of leave a whole lot of things that we don't discuss uh, into here. So it's it's all about you know feeding back into the the system you know? it's fair to say that we we in, on the show we invest a lot more in lifetime deals than we actually get off any of the affiliate links and uh <laughs> yeah. we also only share stuff that we've we've paid for uh, and, and use as well so it's not like we, we're sort of promoting things or highlighting things that we haven't uh, been behind the scenes on and and um, worked on so uh, yeah so anyway that's um that's fyi so sh shall i uh, do you want to share i'll share your screen there daryl yeah i'm uh still downloading um oh, okay my report here. Uh, no so problem. this is the last chance, I think, uh, was the last tally that I just got. So uh, we're just going to have to kind of talk a little bit while I'm uh, getting this together. But 
yeah, it's been a great show. If you guys want to start putting your names in for the um, domain kicks uh, thing, if you want to show this the overlay for that while I'm I'm working on this, um, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm just trying to deduplicate our list, and um, I'm not even quite sure it. what you mean by overlay, Daryl. If I, if I'm honest, uh, for the overlay oh, for, 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 well, for what for for um... The domains. Uh, here's the domains. Right oh, here. there we go. Yeah, sorry. Um, it's an overlay inside of StreamYard. So uh, repairtransmissions.com, rumorpost.com, waterheaterprices.com, and sunroomcost.com. Um, and I will show you the value on those coming up. But uh, just wanted to just kind of let you know what those are. If you want to go ahead and throw your name in, uh, your first and last name, we can go ahead and add you into that contest. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, Oops, I just added to stream. All right, so the first giveaway we're going to do is uh, for the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Quick blog, yeah. We're doing the codes quick first, blog. yeah. Yes. So this is a there match stack here. for codes on AppSumo, courtesy yeah. of Quick blog and uh, Duran, the, the founder there, who's a friend of the show. So that would be great. Um, yeah. And then if you want to put your names in, we'll also then get you going for the... Um, uh, for the domain giveaway as well, so two, two, so many prizes going on here. We've got too, too, too much, uh, <laughs> too much, too much fun happening. Too much fun, too much fun. Yeah, let's yeah. see. I do have uh, these people here that have gotten in, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and sort them. You see it just as I do. You this see the behind the scenes here. Oh, what yep. duplicates? See that? I we thought that was duplicates. banned, Daryl. I thought we were going to blacklist. It was banned, were, you know. You know it you was know, banned, but we're just yeah. we're just fixing this all we're just, up. We're just here. letting people know that they they that they've been spotted and we know what they're doing. Yeah, is that? What yes, you're it's a yeah. shame. It's a shame that it's a shame. <laughs> we're naming you shaming them. It. That's it. Yeah. Yes, I'm publicly shaming. Okay, so here are the names for this week. Uh, for the four stack max stack is uh, we're just, Simon we're just joking. We're just joking about the black the, the blacklisting. By the way, somebody's there saying they're in twice and they're sorry. It's okay. We will we'll filter out. Twice? Yeah, I don't see anybody in here twice. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're, we're not. Um, uh, you know, you won't be back right. for the show. Anyway. So this is who's in for this week. All right, um, and we're gonna go ahead and draw it, and we're gonna give that winner, and then we'll go and convert over to our. Uh, domain kicks uh, giveaway. So here we go. Spinning the wheel for quick blog, max stack. It's on AppSumo. Go to ht slash AppSumo if you'd like to buy it. Oh, there we go. All right. Rod. Nice one, Rod. Well done. Hey, Rod. Hey, congratulations. Um, we do have your contact information. You didn't have to be present to win on this one. You just go to prizes.live. And folks, go to prizes.live to get registered for next week's giveaway, which is a big question mark valued at over $40 for your business. Okay. So yeah. this is the only show I know about that gives away prizes to small business owners to help them with their business, because there's a lot of stuff for the regular consumer to win prizes, but we are looking out for the business guy and mm -hmm. the small business owner. So we're trying to get you the best tools for that. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of what we're doing with this. And I think by next year, Oh my goodness, we're gonna we're gonna be like we're gonna build it. Fire. We're gonna build it up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, on fire. All right, that's great. And Don Don is uh, confessing that he he well he's saying he only entered once this week, and that's great, Don, because last week we knew that you entered three times. So you know, <laughs> it's averaging it out. So it's only two two on average. That's good. <laughs> Just pulling your leg. Right. Okay. So how we, so we want to get the, uh, the names yep. for the, so we just talk now, a little yeah. bit. Let's just summarize what we did today. So uh, if you want to mm -hmm. summarize what you talked about and yeah. Uh, yeah. So we, we talked about finding mass page sites in the wild. So what we do when we find them, how we reverse engineer them. We had a, a good discussion about jrop.com, which uh, is a very impressive mass page site. And we had a bit of discussion about some of their tactics and some things. Um, Daryl also talked about, um, was it coin rule? I think it was another mass page site. Mm -hmm. Crypto yeah. that you were looking at, and uh, yeah, if people ever say you know duplicate content and mass page building doesn't work, you can point them to to jrop.com, and I think it's a great example of 
exactly when that strategy is working. $300,000 a month of traffic generated uh, now after what looks like 12 to 18 months of, of um, activity. Looks pretty pretty good. So we talked about that. Um, talked about Daryl's new siphon. Uh, it's in beta, but he's uh, uh, rolling out some new features and we did a demo of uh, the spin, AI spin tax. So it's not just spin tax, it's AI because it's um, looking at the actual text itself and uh, intelligently spinning uh, the sentences rather than just uh, each uh, word. So that looks pretty cool. So more to have on that. And then we did the uh, the lifetime deal of the week, the big uh, the big finale for the show, the big highlights, which is uh, <laughs> the, most in, the most important part. Uh, yeah, Simon, it, Simon is available yeah. for autographs um, after yeah. the show. Just yeah, meet him in the it. hall. Yeah, um, that's it. That's all that. That's all good. And we did that. And then now we're doing the, the giveaways. I tell you what, if it's okay, I'm, I'm just going to put my links up for uh, the yes. sh uh, my stuff as well, if that's yep. okay. I'll put that there. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, if anybody wants to get in touch with me, um, you can go to simonhongbird.com to my website. You can join my SEO Heroes Facebook group, which is uh, free to join at simonhongbird.com slash group. Uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, simonhongbird.com slash YouTube. And I also do a coaching group, which I've been uh, starting to a weekly one recently, which is building up quite nicely. So uh, tomorrow is uh, Monday, 8 o'clock UK time or 3 o'clock EST. And we are talking tomorrow about AI content and all automation. Next week, we'll be talking about Google business profiles. We can start talking about local SEO. And the week after that, we're talking about mass page building. So if you want to uh, join us, it's only £17 a month. Cancel any time. And it's uh, go.ht slash Simon Coach if you want to do that. So sorry about the plug, but that's uh, that's just there. It gives you a bit more time, uh, Daryl, to, uh, to uh, get your yep. stuff together there. Thank you. I appreciate you uh, running that. Um, so anyway, uh, Colin K, I misspelled your name. I got to fix that. Anybody uh, that I don't have on here, uh, take a look at the wheel and see if your name's not on here. This is for the giveaways uh, for the domains. And while we are waiting for the last final people to come in for the domains, let's go ahead and give you some figures so that you can see what these are worth. Um, because my name worth account is working again somehow they fixed it um so that's very cool all right um so you Nameworth... probably burned it out didn't you for fair usage policy probably no they had some kind of issue i yeah. don't know it nothing really <laughs> works always mm -hmm. nothing always works always oh look at this sunroomcost.com seven thousand four hundred share it well, you, i know you're, you're not sharing the oh, screen there Darryl. oh hang let's, on let's yeah. share it you put the overlay yes on. Sunroomcost.com, well, uh, 7,400. Nice. Waterheaterprices.com, 1,450. Rumorpost.com, which I did not get this on Domain Kicks. I got this a long time ago, so it's pretty aged, $950. And this one, repairtransmissions.com, is I think worth way more than $500. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just telling you, that is a big purchase. If anybody's yeah. ever repaired a transmission, Holy mm -hmm. smokes. Um, so, yes, yeah, so let me just go ahead and go to give you an alternative viewpoint on um, uh, bulk upload. Let's see here. Uh, praise domains. Yep. I'm just going to put these here mm -hmm. into Estabot and see what they say. In different opinions here. Um, yeah. All right, repair transmissions they think is worth $749, cost per click $1.68, um, 12 searches, repairtransmissions.com. Interesting. That's mm -hmm. that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and there's uh, Ruber Post. It would be a good brand for like yes, a blog. Yes, uh, it's or a good something. brand. Is it? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm thinking about using that as a enterprise site if nobody yes, takes yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'd be yeah, doing absolutely. that. Yeah. Water heater prices four hundred eight dollars on Estabot, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sunroom costs eight hundred and forty six dollars on Estabot, and two dollar and ninety five cent average mm. cost per click. Whoo! Nice. I am yep. insane, folks. I am insane. All right, so. <laughs> Go ahead, and um, if it wasn't so easy for me to find these domains with domain kicks, you guys would be like having to find you'd another never, show. You'd never see these, yeah. You'd never you see guys them. would be watching a different show on Sunday. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, anybody else, this is your last chance to get your name in for those domains yeah. that we just talked about. And yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if you last chance, I'm going to give you another minute. Yeah. And um, do we have time? Do you have time for to take guests? We haven't had any. For I've got a while. time. I've got time. Yeah. All right. People are always welcome. Come on, have a chat. No problem about that. Yeah. All right. 
So I'll go ahead and uh, start working on that. But uh, last chance, Tim Judge gave us a <laughs> Tim loves them all. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't mess around. I don't mess around. Now that yeah. I got domain kicks, I'm like, yeah, I'm giving away these things like candy, man. <laughs> I'm giving away like candy. Yeah. This is the candy man of domains. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see here. All right, so I'm I'm just getting the the uh, guest queue yeah. uh, lined up here. Yeah, so so Don's it's... giving the seal of approval as well. All great domains, I think so. And I, th I think it's great that you also value them as well because it does give people a bit of an insight before they make a choice. And it shows also that these are not just sort of ten dollar domains that you don't have any use for. You're just giving away. The, these are valuable. This is this is something that's of uh, of use. So that's great. So uh, great to see people see people uh, agreeing with that. So that's good. All right, uh, Jim Judge said it. Let's spin it. Here we go. Spinning the names. Not as many people entered today, so you got a higher chance of winning. Let's see if Tim wins. <laughs> oh, see. oh my goodness. Let it go. Wow. Tim Judge. Tim, God, Tim's, he's such a lucky guy. He is lucky. He wants them all, though. That's what he says. He, I, he, yeah, he wants well, them all. I'll make a deal. You, you, you <laughs> send me some crypto, and I'll yeah, give you, you all You do a them, swap. Okay? Yeah, you do a swap. Yeah. I say one Bitcoin. I'll give them all to you. Nice. Nice. Just one Bitcoin. How's that sound? Well done, Tim. Right. That's, uh, that's great. Well done. Yep. So we'll go ahead and we'll throw this up here. Um, go to go.ht slash guest if you want to slide up in our DMs. Uh, I mean, onto the page here. And uh, we'll get you up here on here. So repairtransmissions.com, rumorpost.com, waterheaterprices.com, or sunroomcost.com. Tim, either tell me now or tell me you're going to tell me later. And uh, you can do your research and homework, look for brands and stuff. Yeah and see what would work got lots of you. congratulations coming in for tim which is very nice people are very magnanimous yeah, and supportive it yeah. probably be somebody else next week or well, might not be i don't know tim wins a lot but uh, i'm sure it's not yeah. a fix somebody said fix there i think that's very unfair we, we, daryl doesn't <laughs> control wheel of names it's, no it's, wheel it's, of names there. is is probably should, you should yeah. build one though daryl i, I think yeah you should have a, a lot have of ads on this you know? look at all the ads yeah yeah so that's great thanks everyone that's all good there thank you, you guys thanks, um all right so to go to ht slash guest if you want to join us usually tim judge if he's if his hair is combed he'll come on here so maybe he'll <laughs> if come up here if he's if he's uh, styled if he's been yes stylish, he's, he's yeah. got his makeup artist working on him right oh, here now. we go he's, here we go he's, he's come on yep. there we are. all right. right so let's let's bring him in there hey mr judge here we are hey. how are we doing gentlemen well done. Good, oh, well. good. Tim, the winner. <laughs> I that. can't <laughs> believe, I can't believe that I pulled out another one. What are the odds? Amazing. I don't I'm know. Yeah. Um, somebody said it's a fix, but I don't uh, know. I think you just, just got something fortune. going just, with your universe fortune. connections there, I, buddy. Yeah. You know, when you when you find the niche that works for you, you got to you know capitalize. I, I do a lot of other stuff, and I and I try and get in on other wins, but I I've never won so much. With yeah. you he's manifested that. it he's, he's 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 got something going on here to to help it help him win you know this is uh this is really my spot to win so um thank you very much um those domains i think because i'm in real estate the uh sunroom uh development probably Some sunroom cost, 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 yeah. Dot com. yeah yeah that, that happens makes sense yeah it happens to be the one that's worth the most according to um um estabot which is uh probably you know, in the industry, the most consistently accurate as far as the um, range that it goes in. So um, I think that's a good, good, good buy for that. Uh, let me just throw that up here. Um, just looking here, it looks like in the search results, there's 20,000 people trying to come up for sunroom costs. Yeah. And um, sunrooms are, you know, you think about it, if you get a customer that's going to put a sunroom on, that's yeah. probably like a you know fifteen twenty thousand dollar addition, isn't it? Like, yeah, they definitely. Um, it depends on where you're located. You know, I'm I'm in Greenwich, Connecticut, so everything's you know crazy inflated. But the rest of the world, uh, you know, is it's kind of a reasonable um, addition to the house, but it adds a lot of value. So, the sunroom is a, is a is a great thing to have. So yeah, I understand that that's a you know, a good thing and, and being in real estate and, and having the connections with developers and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be nice to hand out those leads to people um, yeah. and make those connections. Right. So yeah, that's 
not really hand out. You know, we got to we're gonna be working. <laughs> You're not as crazy as me. <laughs> You're not going to hand things out for crying out loud. Um, but yeah, that's yeah, good. So well everything, everything going good with your uh, crypto stuff? Anything you want to tell people about? You want to plug something? Well, um, I'm going to uh, NFT Arizona, and I'll probably be speaking on stage there. NFT Arizona. We, uh, the group that I'm in launched an NFT January 3rd. It's called Social Bees. And uh, it sold out, and now the bees are wow. climbing and uh, awesome. doing very well. So, so we're we're starting to swarm the events and everything else like that. So, we're having a lot of fun in, in the crypto space and especially NFTs. But we've got a loads of projects that are coming out under that umbrella. So, it's working really, really well. I'll trade you an NFT stuff. for a domain if you want. <laughs> um, I'm gonna you know, if I. I think if I win one more, I have to give you uh, uh, an NFT. Uh, B. But, you, it would um, be my first NFT, but a B sounds like a good first. I like the it, B it, idea. It, it's a very cool project. And, um, of course, it's connected to, um, you know, pollinating other projects. So we're we're trying to find nice. other projects that are good and up-and-coming stuff. And then we... Like Siphon. You know, pollinate, group... pollinate Siphon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's um it's very cool. But thank you for letting me mention that and uh and sure. thank you for the domains i i really appreciate it and i'm gonna kick all this into high gear with the uh mentorprise because i'm i'm in on that and uh starting to find the time to to make uh all these work because i yeah. do have a couple domains that i really have to capitalize on um but uh but this is a good one this is a this is a great domain i'm very excited um thank you very much and sorry don but um you know i had to I had to take the lead, <laughs> but um, I promise I won't. I won't enter again until Don wins. <laughs> Tim yeah, for the like, gold. <laughs> you are congrats from to, uh, from uh, Don. So uh, I don't think there's any hard feelings. Yeah, no, oh, it's, it's all good. It's a great group. I'm I'm happy to watch uh, as much as I can on Sunday afternoons. It's fun. And yeah, I appreciate it. Do. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you, Tim. Thanks for coming right. up. I appreciate good to see you. you, Tim. Yeah, take we'll care. see you next time. Thank you. You got all it. Right. Very good, guys. We'll, Thanks. We'll get that domain over to you. All right. So that's how it's done. You just kind of come up here and you take your prize from us. And um, yeah, if he wins one more time, I get an NFT. So let's make sure that Tim wins. We'll have to uh, <laughs> yes, tell the prize sure wheel wins. to make him win again. I guess you can't make it. It's random, Daryl. Unless you you, you <laughs> skew it in the background. <laughs> anyway, all all good stuff. All good fun. Well, I think that wraps up our show, Simon. What do you think? Yep. Yeah, I think it's all good. I think we covered a lot of ground today. So, uh, yeah, thanks very much. It's been uh, it's been fun. Looking forward to the next uh, next one. More prizes, more mass page, more SEO stuff. So it's all all good. Make sure you do this one thing for us. If anybody watching wants to do us a favor on the recording or uh, watching live right now, make sure you give us a like on YouTube, uh, on Simon's channel or mine. Make sure you uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Don't hit the subscribe button a second time if you've already done, because that makes you unsubscribe, and that makes <laughs> us very sad. All right? And then also, prizes.live. If you know a business owner that could use a free AppSumo kind of deal or a free coaching call or a free something, go ahead and send them to prizes.live, because the bigger we make this, the bigger the prizes will get. All yeah. right? Yeah. And so the more people we have registering, the more people we get into prizes that live each week, the bigger prizes we're going to give. And this is really for people that are small businesses. It could be any flower shop or online uh, e-commerce person, anything in that at all. It could be a, you know, something to help them with contacts to SEO to, you know, all the things that matter to a small business. So do us that favor, spread the word about prizes that live. I really do appreciate it. And, um, and the promo code for, um, uh, pitch ground. If you want to get that, um, that program this week, just go to go.ac slash pitch ground. And if it's something on AppSumo you're going to buy, you want to help out the show, just go to go.ht slash AppSumo. And it just helps us out. And it helps us to fill in the, the, the funds to get more um, product in for us to test and to show you. All right. So PitchGround and AppSumo, just go.ht and you're in. Thank you, guys. I appreciate yep. it. Thanks for being a part of our program. And we're going to see you next week on Sunday at 5 o'clock. We're also doing a Wednesday domain kicks this week at 6 o'clock Eastern time. And uh, we'll have some other cool way to find a domain with our, our program. All right. All right. Take um, care. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. I appreciate you. See being you. Part yeah, of this. be good. Enjoyed it. Take care. And we'll see talk you. to you later. All, All right. Bye-bye. Right.